Hi Aquarius, welcome to your life after the retrograde forecast for couples. Now please take note that this is only a general reading and might not resonate to all of you out there. Please do check your moon rising. Now, I will be doing four different spreads using four different decks. And one is that, how do you see each other? The hurt spread, where do you go from here? And the bottom line. Let's take a look, Aquarius. What's going on in your relationship? Aquarius, your partner especially if you're with an earth sign, is being stubborn. There are some issues about things from the past. And I feel like there is also some, you know, some things that you need to work on and take as a sacrifice. Now, this is the hurt spread. Okay. You know, sometimes you are, it's like you're being a little bit impatient. You are ru you're rushing things through. And you are, it's like you want to make, you want to move things fast. And I also feel like you're waiting for a, um, like a money to come or an opportunity to come. Because there is like, um, uh, like an opportunity internationally that you have to you have to take I'm getting Fuji Fiji and like a place in Hawaii okay I feel like this is something that you need to do and go there and your partner is not really accepting, you know, your, you know, like, uh, it's like they don't like whatever that's been going on in your relationship. Because this relationship is about the two of you. And yet, whenever that there is an offer, whenever there is an opportunity that comes to you, you just make a decision on your own. And you feel like your partner, you know, they feel like they're an outsider, they feel like they don't really, you know, exist in your life. They're, they are not really a part of your decision. Or that they are not really a part of your of your life. Okay? And they're also busy working. And they're also pretty much successful in whatever they do. Yet they are still wishing for, you know, for the, they're wishing for you to include them in your plans and in your, you know, thinking. And I feel like at this point, you need you also need to start considering other people in your, you know, that's surrounding you, that is also around you. It's not just you. Your partner is more financially stable than you. And as I've said, if you, especially if you're with an earth sign, and you are just trying to, you know, make a brand new beginning, you're just about to embark a new journey. And you're just about to, you know, open yourself up to new opportunities. While your partner is already there, they're already financially stable wherever they go. They can carry on with their job and, you know, they can fully support you as well. And you're the one who's going to be making a decision because you want to create a name of your own. Your partner feels like the two of you are really matched and uh, you really belong together. But with you, it's like you are making a decision of your own and... You're also like slicing your relationship out of this context. And there will be some change of home environment. There will also be some changes in the horizon. And I feel like your partner will be catching you lying or you'll be catching your partner lying. You will feel somehow stuck and there will be a betrayal. Okay. So in wh whichever way it is. And you're the one who's going to be acting 
cut off and dry, cold and distant, and then your partner will somehow feel like something is off and the, you are up to something. And then right after that, you're gonna start wooing them while well, them, they are just ready to go and ready to travel and free themselves. You will try to contradict that and, you know, they're gonna continuously move on to their better path and to their career path. Or that, you know, they chose to be in that path. So this is where you stand. You know, it's like, if you don't want others sorry don't do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you okay and how do you hurt each other you hurt your partner through lying and through deceiving and y your partner hurts you by it's like sometimes you feel like a guest in your own house there's too much control. There's too much also being sheltered. Too much of a protection. And sometimes you can't really move and you can't really like make a decision of your own because your partner feels like it should be your decision. I mean the two of you and not just only you. But for you it's only should be you. Now, your partner is also very intuitive. You feel a little bit lonely and you feel a little bit um, isolated in this relationship. That's why you wanna, you want to create a um, like a mark of your own. Your partner is very hardworking and conscious about financial security, and this is what you don't really want. This is what you don't really need, because you want to be the one who should you know to provide. But unfortunately, there are still you know more things to hammer. And uh, the two of you will still get back together, you know, right after this short um, separation. And things will start moving and changing right after you go get back. There will be communications, a change of cycle. You're going to be talking. There will be some conversations. You're going to be reaching to an amicable decision agreement. And I feel like... You know, it's still you who's going to be winning. So, let's take a look. Where do you go from here? And the bottom line. This is your current situation, what's causing your problem, what you've forgotten to express, what you've forgotten to respect, your options. Now, looks like the two of you will still be working things out together. You're going to be celebrating and I feel like the two of you will still be, you know, choosing to work things out right after a very short separation. This is you, this is your partner. And... here there's too much fighting there's too much drama and too much defensiveness that I feel like at this point the reason why you're not really talking is that both of you are acting too cold and distant and very cut off and dry what you've forgotten to express is that you need to work things out you know like a like an adult and 
you know, there are some issues that you also need to work things out together, but not apart. And what you have forgotten to respect is that, you know, you also need to be a little bit more contented, be happy, and stop complaining or whining about things in your life that you, you know, that you cannot really have at this point. And I feel like there will still be a celebration right at the end of this because eventually both of you will start working things out and both of you will start, you know, um, reaching up to an understanding that it's still worth the fight and it's still worth the, uh, you know, the, uh, the effort. Even though sometimes you feel so alone in this relationship, you'll still go on. There's still a chance and there's still like a perfect opportunity for the two of you to remold okay, this relationship. Now the bottom line. You, for you, you just want to go through a transitional phase or you will be going through a transitional phase. Be careful with some temptations that's going to be surrounding you. Because, you know, your your situation right now is already difficult, but it seems like more of, there will be some more difficulties to come. So you need to be a little bit more stronger. There will be a shift in the situation and uh, there is also something that you need to learn. Now, your partner is also acting a little bit cold and distant. And I feel like for some... This will also be marking as a brand new beginning because I feel like some Aquarians, you're going to find out that either your partner is pregnant or that you are pregnant. And there will be some aggression and that's the reason why the two of you will, you know, act a little bit stronger to make things work. Stop being so defensive towards each other and I feel like stop jumping into conclusions. And uh, you just need to bring back the friendship in your relationship so that you and your partner will become one again. And eventually it, it will work out. There will be success and a brand new beginning and forgiveness. So good for you, Aquarius. I feel like this is going to be the right one. And I feel like this is going to be another long-term relationship for you. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this time. And uh, if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. All right. Blessings to you.